Hi, and welcome to The Magic of Mathematics with Mrs. Arnold Harsley. Today we're going to look at simultaneous equations using substitution. Today we're looking at simultaneous equations using substitution. I've written two equations here. The first thing you do is you number them. So 2x plus y equals negative 7 is number 1, and y equals x plus 2 is number 2. I want you to think of equation 1 as a basketball game and equation 2 as a sub. The game can't solve itself, so we need to call on the sub and pop it into the game. So let's do that. So we've got 2x plus, instead of writing y, we write what the value of y is, which is x plus 2 equals negative 7. So 2x plus x, that's called collecting like terms. So if you've got 2x plus x, you've got 3x plus 2 equals negative 7. You've now got a standard two-step linear equation. And the idea of that is to get x on its own so that we can work out its value. So the first thing we need to do is get rid of this plus 2. We do that by taking away 2. And if we do it from this side of the equation, we have to do it to this side of the equation too. So if you've got um, add 2, take away 2, it cancels out. And we've now got 3x equals, if you're at negative 7 on the number line and then you take away another 2, you've got negative 9. So now this is 3 multiplied by x. So to get rid of that, we need to divide by 3. And we need to do it to both sides of the equation to balance out. 3 divided by 3 is 1 but we don't ever write 1x, so we can take that out. x on its own is 1x, equals 9 divided by 3. How many times does 3 fit into 9? Three times. You've got a negative and a positive, so when the signs are different, it becomes a negative. x equals negative 3. So today we looked at simultaneous equations with substitution part one. Thank you for watching. I'm Jane Arnold-Harsley. Until next time, see ya.